Okay, this is Pat Moorhead again with AMD, uh, actually in the HP booth here at 2009 CES. Now, what I'm going to show you now is one of the products that are AMD based that has actually gotten probably the most attention at the shows, the most ahas. And what that is is the HP DV2 Ultra Thin Notebook. And I actually had the chance to spend five days with this sucker uh, over the holidays, and as you can see, uh, we have the dark finish here and the lighter finish over here for other people who like that. But some of my the favorite things that, that, that I like about this is, first of all, it's super thin. And I don't know if you can check out how amazingly thin that is. And, and you know, I have, a, I have a MacBook Air at home and, you know, I like that. But I have to tell you, um, it's awful close uh, to the dimensions in terms of the, uh, the heights of this baby. Now the other thing about this, and as compared to other, what I would say, uh, 10 inch notebooks, this is actually 12 inch, is this has some features that you can't find anywhere else. And the first of these is because it has, this one has the ATI Radeon 3410 graphics, you get high definition video. So 720p, 1080p, and one of the coolest things is, while the display might be 10, uh, excuse me, 12.1 inches, has an HDMI out port. And what I did at home is plug this into my 52-inch HD TV, and also went upstairs in my theater room and plugged it into my 120-inch uh, high-def projector. Um, the second thing is playing real games. So you expect uh, with the ATI Radeon 3410, it would blow through all the casual games like Spore, and, if, and of course it does. But what I actually what I did as well just to test it out is I played. Uh, Left 4 Dead, the latest first-person shooters where you're going around and shooting zombies and they're trying to get you. But uh, at I was getting about 30 frames a second on low settings at uh, 1280 by 800 resolution. And while I'm not a huge gamer, and I recommend that big-time gamers uh, uh, buy you know, the monster graphics, it played it exceptionally well. And that, to me, was a great uh, testament. So uh, HD video is... Um, is not only uh, a function of, let's say, downloads, but also takes advantage of the newest um, in trends in terms of these pocket HD handycams. And I actually have one in my pocket, Scott, and if we can do this. Uh, I got this over the holidays as well. And what this does, it's a, uh, it's a Kodak ZI6, and it shoots at uh, 720p at 60 frames a second. Now, I can get an amazing image on this thing, but um, what I do here is I take the 720p image and I actually plug it into the HP DV2 and get great 30 frames per second playback uh, on the video, which is pretty incredible for uh, this form factor. And I know I sound a little bit like the It Slices and Dices guy, but uh, what I want to do is final, finalize with this. HP is offering an optional Blu-ray player to go along with it. So not only is it functional, but it also looks beautiful. And one of the things that I really love about it is it's almost the exact same form factor as a Blu-ray jewel case. So if you have a bunch of Blu-rays, you can throw them in your bag along with your uh, optional Blu-ray player and uh, go to town. And uh, one other thing is the form factor. As you can see, it's powered by the USB cord. And that's key because you're not uh, carrying around a separate um, uh, power cord and it's powered directly off the uh, uh, the USB connector. So I I love this product. I love the DV2, and uh, along with the uh, near full size keyboard and the 12.1 inch uh, uh, display, I think uh, I'm I'm just extremely excited about that. It's a storage like kind of thing. Oh, this is this is great. So typically. Uh, with a, a notebook with a smaller screen, you have very limited storage options. In fact, uh, my Mac here at home only has 120 gig storage. Uh, and what the HP folks have told us is that there will be an optional up to 500 gig hard drive and up to four gigabytes of RAM, which really, if you want to customize this baby to your, to your needs and even make, even make it a more high-end machine, uh, you can do this. Now, I save this to the very end, um, the entry price for the entry configuration on this is $699, okay? And 
jaws drop from people when I take them through the functionality and I tell them the entry price. And sure, you don't get everything at the entry price, but you get a base awesome experience. So with that, I'd like to cut this off and say, uh, this is Pat Moorhead in the HP booth from uh, AMD signing off.